Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest coins anywhere, check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. So this is a gameplay that I am super excited about and definitely one of the more expensive gameplays of the entire year. I think over 5 million coins worth of cards in this gameplay. I do want to give a shout out to Tommy for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel. Turn the case below and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, guys, we have been in an absolute hot streak with the NBA three days in a row of profit. Hopefully, we can make it four. And if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERK to double your first deposit up to $100. Follow me over on Twitter for my picks. And if you guys sign up right now, you'll get a De'Aaron Fox 0.5 point special for tonight. There also was a 0.5 point special for Siakam earlier today as well. Underdog's been running a ton of specials. If you're not on the app, you're missing out. So as you guys can see, we do have Michael Irvin on the team right here. Now, we'll let you guys know, number one, I do not have a Cowboys theme team. A lot of people think that I do. I don't like running theme teams that often because I just like to pick up new players. They come out. So yeah, I don't have a Cowboys theme team. I also don't have a Super Bowl theme team. I had a playoff theme team, which was like the first theme team I decided to get. Uh, Super Bowl promo came out. I was gone for like a week during that since I was in Vegas. So I made the decision to not invest those coins in the Super Bowl theme team. The next theme team I'm targeting is team of the year, more than likely, if there is a team of the year team cam. But if there's not, I might actually go back and do Super Bowl now with all these Cowboys players out with Super Bowl cam. We'll see about that. But Michael Irvin, 97 speed, 96 XL. Uh, good route running, good hands. This card is just insane, man. 96 juke move, 95 break tackle, 99 change of direction. And then we are going to run with double me for the AK, which starts on for six plays. Jukebox for zero. And we're running route tech on him for two AP. He does get wide receiver apprentice as well for zero. And then, yes, we have the boosted out triplets can which does give a change of direction a juke move a deep accuracy and agility acceleration break tackle and awareness to all three of these cards and then of course we do have the super bowl cam i only have it to tier three so we get agility jumping in strength and we have arguably the new quarterback one in madden 24 troy aikman has slinger three release which is the uh, Josh Allen release. Some people's favorite. Personally, I prefer traditional four, but Slinger three is still really good. 80 speed uh, does have 80 excel. I know not great with the speed, but 99 throw power, uh, good accuracies as well. And in terms of abilities, it's the AP stack, which is why he's the best in the game. Backyard QB starts on for six plays, goes away, comes back. Uh, Tower of Master and Playmaker. So yeah, goes away and comes back, but I think it's still worth using. Gift wrap for one. Gunslinger for zero, set feet lead for one AP. So that is backyard QB, set feet lead, gunslinger, and gift wrapped, two AP. And then again, Super Bowl cams, triplets. And finally, guys, we have Emmett Smith, 96 speed, 99 XL, 98 change of direction, 90 truck, 96 break tackle, 210 pounds, 99 juke move, 96 break tackle, as I said, uh, angry runs, X factor, and then energizer for zero, gets shorter lead for one and bruiser for one as well. I am very, very, very excited to use all three of these cards. Let's get into this. So let's get into this. As you guys can see, that's my opponent's top three. So he does actually have a Super Bowl theme team. There's my top three, the triplets. All right, so my opponent does have Patrick Mahomes, and he's coming out in five wide to start off here as he's going to have that open Kyle Pitts. Can I get the tackle, please? All right, so it looks like this guy just pretty much wants to run out of five wide. So we'll see if we can get a stop on him here. Thank you very much for the interception. I'm going to go down immediately. All right, so I have Emmitt Smith. We, of course, have Michael Irvin out here and Aikman. Got to try to use all three of them. We're going to start off with Emmitt, though. You know, run a little bit of angry runs. Definitely want to take advantage of the angry runs x factor right here with Emmett and try to run it a little bit to the outside Emmett with a juke move breaking tackles let's go now michael Irvin though does have the x factor we want to take advantage of which is going to be that double me and uh, unfortunately so, he actually is going to be doubled right here. But we do have somebody open in the flats. We'll go to them. Jerry Rice, get the first down. So it looks like he might actually be doubling over there on Michael Irvin with that X Factor, which I don't blame him at all, as we got some amazing blocks. Emmett, stay up on your feet. Let's go. Emmett Smith was able to stay up on his feet right there, down to the 41. I mean, hey, I'm looking to go to Mike, man. I'm definitely looking to go to Michael Irvin. And, oh. Oh, that's a bad throw. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That was bad. That was really, really bad. I saw Michael Irvin, which 
looked to be one-on-one, -on -one, but that's how I threw it, that safety was gonna play that. I say it every gameplay, it is not a Xerxes gameplay if I don't throw an interception. So hey, at least you know I'm back to uh, throwing the INTs right there, trying to force the ball to Michael Irvin. So definitely not great, but hey, that was going really, really good right there with Emmett as, okay, good catch there. This guy's really just about to run five wide, like the entire game. I just can't believe that. Great throw right there, but we get the knockout. Is he really just gonna run five wide, like the entire time? time and be throwing down the the slot i guess really we're showboating out here not sure why you would showboat because now you're not gonna get into the end zone watch this you're gonna throw a pick never mind he's gonna get into the end zone and he's really coming out here and going for two as well i'm not sure what his thought process is but that's not gonna work all right so we had a pretty good kick return and obviously so i want to go to michael irvin which you guys can see he's usering on but he came off of him why would you do that? I don't know if he thought maybe I couldn't make that throw. That is Troy Aikman. Put some respect on the best QB in Mutt. And I literally think my opponent is just going to do nothing but come out in five wide, which is just really intriguing to me that he's coming out in five wide here. Good knockout. All right, and I think he's finally about to switch it up right here. Second and 10, I would imagine. Yeah, he's going to try to run the football now. If he's subbing in the running back, I'm guessing he's gonna run every time. Third down and eight, though. Let's see what he does. Is he gonna throw? You would expect him to. And Terrell Davis is not gonna be open. That should be an interception with her battery. And again, I'm gonna go down here so we can get more yards. Now, Angry Runs is no longer activated, but I'm telling you guys right now, this Emmett Smith is still an absolute demon. So we're gonna run the ball a little bit here. Emmett, get to the outside. Let's go. I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. Sometimes when you're just using certain cards, you get a feel. And this Emmett Smith card, he feels really, really good as he got through right there. He just straight up feels really, really good running the ball. Like he feels like he's running very, very smooth as third down and three fitted in. What a dot. And that was a nice throw right there. And also a very good catch by Emmett. Once again, showing off that speed as we get some pretty solid blocks. Break the tackle, Emmett. Let's go. Now, once again, Michael Irvin is activated with double me. So if he's not going to double him, you already know where the ball is going to go. And one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, a second corner got over there. Mike Irvin doesn't care. So Michael Irvin already with two touchdowns right now. Definitely playing really, really good as pressure got to him there, I guess. The knockouts have been clutch this gameplay here as on fourth down and eight, he's going to chuck it up. Devin Hester. Hester really just got torched. Cannot believe Devin Hester really just got torched like that. My opponent, though, is going to go for the two-point conversion. I'd imagine it's going to be the RPO. Yeah, okay. My opponent now is going to go for an onside kick. Onside kicks, and he's going to get it. Don't let... He got the onside. You're letting this guy stay in this game, EA. You're letting this guy stay in the game. Going for two, showboating, showboating on touchdowns, and now just get an onside kick. Just absolutely disgusting work. Disgusting work out of my opponent here as I, I want to get a fumble or something. And it looks like here he's going to run Gun Monster and Zedarius almost had a pick six. Zedarius Smith almost just had a pick six right there. That would have been absolutely insane. Third down and 10. This guy's just doing like crazy stuff. I could see a run and he's not going to run it. Going to look out over the middle. Can we get a sack on him? We get a hit. And on fourth down and 10, of course, my opponent's going to go for this. And he threw it right at me. Throw it right at me, eh? This is the guy you're letting get onside kicks out here, man. And I could pick six this. I could, but I'm not going to. I could have got a pick six right there, but I didn't want a pick six. I want to come back out on offense and do some more work out here. Emmett Smith, couple yards. All right, second down and five right here. We're going to get Emmett wide open. Emmett Smith out the backfield, breaking tackles. Dude, I'm telling y'all, this Emmett card is amazing. Like the feeling that I'm getting when using this Emmett Smith card is just absolutely insane. And that is a dot. All right, so my opponent got a crazy good kick return, and now he's at the 39-yard line right now. So I'm going to look at over the middle. Again, he's just coming out in five wide. Just once again, five wide right here. He's going to try to scramble around with Mahomes. I am disgusted he was able to complete that. That's just absolutely insane to me, man. Is he is now going to try to run with Mahomes? Can we get a fumble? How have I not gotten a fumble out here? Like, how have I not gotten a fumble? I do not know as he's going to take off. He just juked me out. Thank you. And he recovers. This is just insane. Are you guys seeing this right now? The stuff that is going on in this game to keep him alive as nice completion. If I had to guess, he's going to run here. So I'm going to run commit. And yep, he's going to run the ball. Dude, 
I've never seen someone get so lucky in a game. Like, it's been a while. Now, with only 10 seconds left here, we really don't have much time, but I would love to try to get into field goal range if we can, as he's gonna use her pass rush, which means that Michael Irvin's gonna be open, able to get the catch. All right, and being at the 49 yard line, I'm not in field goal range yet, but if I can pick up some yards, ah, uh, that was not what we needed. All right, maybe I should have thrown the football there. Maybe that was bad clock management by me, but I thought for sure we'd pick up like, Four or five yards, I could take a field goal. Yeah, not gonna be the case. Now, of course, we do have to try to throw this into the end zone, I guess. And uh, we do have X open, gonna get it off. And of course, my opponent, guys, is going to be kicking an onside kick to start off the second half, which luckily Gronk is able to recover. Now, so far, this has gone pretty well. Aikman is definitely really, really good. Uh, Michael Irvin is dominant. And I'm telling you guys right now, Emmett Smith, this car just play is really good michael irvin though once again is activated you did it again like why would you do it again you left michael irvin wide open i don't know why my opponent would continue to do that but yeah once again he really just let me get wide open there with michael irvin uh, can we punish this guy like the fact that he is fumbled only one time and he's ran multiple qb draws he just tried to hurdle me right there with patrick mahomes and he's getting away with it is just insane. Like, give me another fumble. Down to the 44-yard line, though, and I did actually have a spy set up and a contain. All right, and he's now down to the 33-yard line here. Once again, I do have a spy set up. Parham, pick that. Parham, I really need you to intercept that, man. Definitely need you to intercept that one as everything is covered. Gonna send the QB spy at him. I don't know why the spy, why the man came off of Kyle Pitts. Shout out to the man coverage falling apart there because Parham just came off of him for some reason as I'm gonna look out for that underneath. Parham once again in man. I probably should not have gone for the pick. That was just bad. And I definitely expect an RPO here. Like, this is 1 billion percent an RPO. Told you. I told you. Billion percent. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he ran the RPO again, thinking he could throw it. And actually, no, he did not that time. He does have the drag open, though. Good tackle. So now that I think he's not going to run that RPO right there, I am shocked he ran the ball. You know, I didn't think he'd run an RPO, but I really didn't think he'd just straight up run the ball. Fourth and goal coming up at the 10-yard line here. Got to look out for that. I don't see anything open. I don't see anything open. He's going to try to take off. That's a turnover. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate that. And now let's try to run the ball a little bit here with Emmett. Once again, running to the outside. Nothing much. I know, 10 carries for 40 yards doesn't really seem very good. And it's not very good. But I'm telling you guys right now, the feel of this card is just overall really, really, really good as we bounce to the outside. Now on this play right here, guys, I'll tell you, if he gives me Michael Irvin one-on-one, -on -one, I have double me activated on Mike. He did it again. How do you do it again? He's usering on the safety that's over the top. Oh, and by the way, I know Michael Irvin is like really impressing right now. The throws that Aikman is making, like... Look how far of a ball that was. All right, and we managed to get another turnover on my opponent, and we got the ball back. Emmett Smith now with Angry Runs activated. Let's go, Emmett. We've seen quite a bit so far of Michael Irvin, and I want to show a little bit more of Emmett Smith here before we get out of here. But I feel like if you guys pick the card up and you just used him, I feel like this is a card you got to use to really, really tell how good he is as we're looking him go, Emmett Smith to the outside. Obviously, the Angry Runs X Factor. I mean, come on. It's going to make the card really, really good here as we're going to try to bounce the outside. Bounce it back inside. Look at the cutback. That cutback right there was absolutely nasty. Second down and two. And we're going to try to run it once again. He does have two inside stuffs. Emmett. Emmett Smith. Guys, I'm not kidding. This card's a demon. And it looks like my opponent thinks the same thing because he's out of here. All right, so as you guys can see, here is the stat line. Michael Irvin, 235 yards, five catches, four touchdowns. 79 yards was the longest catch. 200 yards and four TDs is just absolutely insane. Uh, Emmett Smith right here, he had 15 carries, 132 yards, seven broken tackles. He had a 42-yard rushing touchdown and then two catches for 27 yards. And then Troy Aikman. I mean, these cards were just all really, really good. 304 yards, 10 to 12, five touchdowns, one pick. Absolutely, in my opinion, Aikman is QB1. Emmett, to me, is the best ring back I've used this year. And uh, Michael Irvin, I mean, there's a lot of good wide receivers. But could you say he's wide receiver one?
definitely could. So with that being said, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Let me know what you guys think about all these cards. Absolutely amazing cards. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.